Equivalent Fractions The word equivalent comes from the word equal. Equivalent fractions are fractions that look different, but are actually equal. That is, they have the same value. Take this example. Sam and Lily cooked two pizzas. Sam cut hers in four equal pieces, quarters. Lily cut hers in eight equal pieces, eighths. Sam eats two of her quarters, and Lily eats four of her eighths. We can see that they have actually eaten the same amount of pizza. Two quarters and four eighths are equivalent fractions. Let's have a look at these two fractions, two quarters and four eighths, on a fraction wall. Each bar on the fraction wall represents one whole. Each bar is divided into a different number of pieces. Here are quarters. And here is two quarters, the fraction Sam ate. Here are eighths. And here is four eighths, the fraction Lily ate. We can see that they are equivalent. Can you see another fraction that is equivalent to these two? One half. The simplest way of expressing how much of the pizza both Sam and Lily have eaten is to say one half. One half, two quarters, and four eighths are all equivalent fractions. Now let's imagine Sam ate three of her quarters. How many eighths would Lily have to eat to have eaten an equivalent amount? Six pieces. Three quarters is equivalent to six eighths. We can check this on the fraction wall. We can also prove this by converting the fractions into decimals. 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75, and 6 divided by 8 is also 0 0.75. Now it's your turn to have a go at working with equivalent fractions. Find the equivalent fractions for each of the following. Use the models and fraction wall to help you. Pause here while you work. Let's see how you went. One half is equivalent to four eighths. Two eighths is equivalent to one quarter. Two thirds is equivalent to four sixths. Three fifths is equivalent to six tenths. With so many ways to show the same value, which should we choose? We should simplify fractions, that is, reduce them to their simplest form. For example, instead of two tenths, we would use one fifth. Instead of four sixths, we'd use two thirds. Instead of two quarters, one half, and so on. EasyTeaching.net